Hello everybody, you join me from my hotel room in Boston in the Fenway area. I am on my first graduate school visit. I am visiting Boston University for the next couple days and I just knew I had to bring you guys along with me for this incredible ride. I literally just got into my hotel. It's just past 4.30 and I'm absolutely in shock. They put me up in a suite, which is super cool. I have giant ass bed and a whole kitchen area. Like it's, this is crazy. This is absolutely crazy. I don't think I'm actually gonna be spending a lot of time in this room though, because I have a pretty full schedule the next couple of days. I'm only staying two nights. Tonight I have a little reception thing that I actually have to be ready for in about an hour. And then tomorrow the, the whole day is packed. Before I know it, it's gonna be Saturday morning and I'm leaving. So this is gonna be a total whirlwind of a trip. I hope you guys are ready to experience this alongside me. I have no idea what to expect on a graduate school visit, a graduate school trip. So we're just gonna see. I guess I should explain why I'm here too. So when you get into a grad school, at least for engineering, specifically for Boston University, I was accepted into their biomedical engineering PhD program. So I can just speak for that type of engineering but you are invited to come visit the school for the weekend, or in this case, a Thursday through Saturday. And the school will put on different events for you to learn more about the program, learn more about the students and the labs and the research that's going on in the individual department that you're interested in. So it's just a really good way to kind of gauge how interested you may be in the school, if it fits what you're looking for, and overall just a fun way to meet other engineers and other like-minded people. So again, I'm here at BU for their biomedical engineering program. I'm gonna see over the next few days if I really enjoy it, if I really like the area that the campus is in, all that fun stuff. So yeah, this is all about adventure and exploration and just having a good time. I think for the next hour before I have to meet everyone downstairs in the lobby, I'm just gonna chill out a little bit, maybe freshen up the makeup freshen up the look, but I really have no plans. I'm glad I'm here early though. Just get rid of some of that stress with, with traveling and getting here. I will see you guys at the reception tonight. I'm back in my room after being out all day. This morning, I just had some hotel breakfast, which was honestly pretty good. The hotel is being renovated right now. So we ate breakfast in this like makeshift area on the eighth floor terrace. These are details you don't need, but I'm gonna give them to you anyway. Then we met a bunch of the current grad students in the lobby and they took us over to the welcome reception, which was in BU's main College of Engineering, College of Biomedical Engineering building. They talked to us a little bit about the professors, the program, the classes, the timeline of the whole PhD at BU. It definitely covered a lot of the questions that I had. And then after that, I interviewed or technically just like talked with a professor that I'm interested in. Uh, he does a lot of synthetic bio work. I was a little nervous because this is my first visit and my first time like meeting one-on-one -on -one with a professor. So I was definitely fumbling over my words a little bit, but I'm hoping that I'll get my list of questions and everything I have to say down by the time I go on my next visit, which is really soon. That took about a half an hour and then the rest of the day, was a whirlwind so for a little bit in the morning i toured one of the lab spaces and then we had a really great lunch that was i don't know who it was catered by but if it was bu catering like it was so good i had salmon and chicken and a bowl of clam chowder because when in boston you're gonna have clam chowder right after the lunch we stayed in that room and we listened to what they were calling lightning research talks 
So a bunch of grad students who had been in the program for a little while uh, went up and gave five minute talks about the research they were doing and their respective labs were doing. So that was really great and gave me some really great insight into the current research being done because sometimes a PI's website isn't like updated or it doesn't reflect the work that they're currently doing. So this was actually really nice and I discovered some professors that hadn't even been on my radar that are doing research that I find interesting. After that, it was like 2 p.m. and I had until 4 p.m to kind of do whatever. So I ended up meeting up with a few grad students that I met last night and they took me around their labs and answered questions that I had. So again, it was just a big day of question and answer and walking and listening. It's been a lot. Right now, or I just got back from the College of Engineering welcome reception. So we had BME, biomedical engineering, um, mechanical engineering, and material science perspective students all in the same room. They catered it with like apps and drinks. It was really fun to kind of mingle with other departments. At this point though, I'm like totally dead. I'm definitely glad to be back in the hotel again, literally for like the next 10 minutes because we're going out again. We are headed over to a restaurant, like a little pub called Cornwalls. I'm looking forward to getting some dinner, being with the other prospective students and current grad students in like a less formal setting. I think that'll be fun. And then eventually getting back here, taking the fattest shower of my life and getting into bed and going to sleep, which I know sounds really lame, but I was out pretty late last night. And so tonight I think I just wanna like chip. That's what happened today. That's my little recap. I have to go meet some friends in the lobby so that we can walk over to Cornwalls, but I will update you when I have the time. I just had the best sleep of my life. Oh my gosh. I just got up like 20 minutes ago, so that's when my voice sounds a little bit manly. Last night was so much fun. They rented out like half of the restaurant for us and it was a really cozy pub kind of atmosphere. I was able to chat with my friends that I've made, like the other prospective students and grad students that I've been able to meet along the way. Around 8.30, 9-ish, I honestly forget what time. I knew that I definitely needed some good quality sleep tonight. There's nothing planned for this morning other than just like hopping on the train back home, but I, I needed some sleep. And here we are. It is the morning, it is 8.20 in the morning. I think I'm gonna go and grab some hotel breakfast, keep it really casual, really chill. And then I have a train at 9.40, leaving from South Station in Boston. So I'm probably just gonna like Uber over there. I wish I, wish I had a little bit more time to explore the city, but I am actually headed back here on Monday for a second grad visit. So I don't feel super guilty about that. I'll probably get to explore the city a little bit during that visit. That is what happened last night. That is the plan for this morning. I think I need some coffee and some breakfast. There was no room to sit, unfortunately, in the little breakfast area that they had. It's okay, came back here. I'm gonna eat in my kitchen <laughs> and just enjoy the quiet, I guess. Maybe get some reading done. We'll see. This looks good though, I'm excited. I just got back a little while ago. My mom picked me up from the train station and then we had a quick little debrief at a local coffee shop. That was a crazy few days. Absolutely insane. And even more insane to think that I have to hop on a train in like 48 hours to go back and do it all over again for a different school. I know I did a bit of a recap yesterday and kind of throughout this vlog. Overall, BU great program. It's my only school that is biomedical engineering instead of chemical engineering, so that makes it a little bit different. The campus is 
fantastic. It's it's kind of not like a campus campus, kind of like a one street that just has all their buildings. Obviously it's in Boston, so the location is prime. It's right next to Fenway Park. My hotel was literally like right across from Fenway. It was so cool. I think the buildings were really nice. I was saying to a lot of people, it's, it's a nice eclectic group of all different buildings. You have older like brownstone-esque brick buildings. And then you have these newer, bright, crazy architecture style buildings. Overall, just a really cool hodgepodge of places and labs and things to do. This is just the first visit of many, but overall have a good feeling and good vibe about BU. Those are my thoughts. And with that, I'm probably gonna end the video here. I am gonna end the video here. I hope you enjoyed this little glimpse into what an engineering PhD program grad visit is like, because I for sure had no idea what this was gonna be like heading into it or throughout the application process. So hope this helped in some way. Also, you guys got to see a little bit of BU and the campus and the facilities. So I hope that was interesting. If you guys did like this video and you're excited about the other grad school videos that I'm gonna have coming out, don't forget to leave a like, comment, subscribe so you don't miss out on any of that content. I hope you're staying happy and staying healthy out there amidst this spring semester, whatever season of life you're in currently. I'll see you in the next video. Bye.